Hello everyone, and welcome to my second World of Warcraft video. This one is going to be on the new Upper Black Box file that was introduced in the Warlords of Jirnia patch 6.0.2. Now this dungeon is only out until Warlords of Jirnia actually comes out. So I suggest if you have a chance to run it, run it soon. As you can see I'm a level 99 elf priest. Uh, my item level at the moment is 515. I know it's not that great, but it's just good enough to get into this dungeon. So here we are at the start of the dungeon. When you begin, you have to shut off these five rooms that are guarded by the Iron Horde. And if you notice through the video that my group changes, it's because I had to get in like four groups to shoot this whole video. And uh, I want to initiate a little challenge. If you can count how many times I die in this video, uh, I'll give you a fake online cookie, how about that? So here we are, just fighting some of these Iron Horde guys who have invaded the Black Rock Spire. And uh, to turn off these runes that are placed throughout this opening room, all you have to do is kill all the guys that are around them. Uh, the loot drop here, it's a very low percentage. I ran this dungeon four times, maybe five, and I only got one a uh, new piece of armor, but it was 550 item level. So the armor gets good, it just has a very small drop rate. So that glowing thing is one of the five rooms. So you see we just killed these four or five people that are in this room. And then it shuts off the room. And if you'll uh, notice during my videos, I open up the map in my bags a lot. I guess it's just cause I like pushing buttons. So. So it's beginning about pretty easy. It probably takes about 5 minutes or so to turn off all the wounds. Once you do so, you can move on to the next boss. This uh, dungeon has three bosses you need to kill to complete it but two bonus bosses uh, I haven't got a group to actually do the other two yet but I'm sure they drop something special if you do kill them And uh, just a side note, I'm not sure if emails has noticed this, but it seems like it's actually uh, harder to heal group members now that that patch came out and loaded everybody's health. Not sure if the uh, spells would change properly because I used to be able to heal and nobody would ever die. And I found that now at least one person dies in each boss fight. That might just be me. Uh, not being an amazing killer, but if anybody has any more information on that, that'll be awesome. Just post that down in the comments. Now, uh, if you're level 90 and watching this video and haven't done the quest in the Blasted Land yet, I would really recommend it. You get a lot of good gear, uh, like two or three pieces plus a pet and a title. And it only takes about an hour or two to do it all. And it's pretty fun, I guess. And uh, I'll tell you, the most uh, exciting thing that comes out in World War II, I think, is going to be the garrisons. Finally, we finally get a player home in World of Warcraft after all these years, and I think it's pretty exciting. So as you can see here, we shut off three of the five wounds we need. Got to shut this one off. And after we complete all these wounds, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. We're gonna go, I think, right before the first boss fight. So as this video would have to be about 
30, 45 minutes long if I showed you the whole dungeon. But if you do want to see all the material I recorded, I'm going to post a uh, video that shows all the video uh, material I recorded. And it's just going to play with the chicken song in the background. And I'll uh, post a link somewhere in the comments or in the description or on the video so you can find it. So this is the last room we have to get done. Um, you get 45 gold for completing this dungeon each time. Uh, I haven't got any other gold besides that from this dungeon. These people usually just drop one or two gray items that are only a few silver apiece. So this isn't the dungeon if you want a lot of gold, but it is kind of fun. Now I'd really suggest want to get at least once before the Lords of Grenier come out. So we just completed that and now we're going to move on to the first boss. So here we are on the first boss. Uh, you see those things that look like bear traps on the sides of the room? You need to make sure those are turned off before you fight this guy because if they're not, he's more powerful. And uh, the first time I ran this, only one person knew what the, we were doing, and uh, all we all died the first time I ran this. So be sure to turn off all those bear trap looking things. I think they're called conduits, yeah, you see it on the screen, power conduits. Turn those off when they appear, or he will uh, be more powerful. So as you can see, I'm having a hard time keeping everybody in the group healed up. I think the uh, DPS that's third on my list to the left, he died probably about halfway through the boss fight. And like I said before, I'm not sure if that's because the spells are different and not uh, changed correctly so they heal for the same percentage they used to or what. But it actually makes it more interesting. I just wish that I could keep everybody alive. And that might just be because my item level isn't as high as it should be. Now this first guy is probably the hardest guy in the whole dungeon. And there's no real trick to him. Just make sure you show off all the power conduits when they appear. If you do that, he's pretty easy to kill. So uh, while you guys are watching this boss fight, if you can think of any other type of videos I should shoot, maybe for WoW, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to look at them and see if I can make that happen. Or any suggestions, I'll take any suggestions on how to make these videos better. And as you can see, we didn't beat my uh, record victory. And uh, if you don't have deadly boss mods, just for a shout out, make sure you get it. It's a must have for these end dungeons. And uh, I guess I was mistaken, it might have been a different run where the DPS guy died. So I actually did keep that by a lot this time. Alright, now we're going to move on to the second boss. Uh, this is the fight up to and the second boss. See on the screen on the map. Oh, you just fight these little guys, pretty easy to kill. They're actually dragon actions, if you remember from the original Black Fox Fire. Just kill all of them, and then you make your way to the second guy. Now, I'll, uh, I'll apologize right now for not knowing the bosses' names. I know I should have written them down, but I forgot to, so... You can read it on my screen if you need to, but I'll be sure to remember their names next time I make a video. And if uh, anybody's interested, my character's name is Lorthane. Uh, I play on 
R E P A E R I E P P E A K and my guild is Dark Flame if anybody's interested. No. Uh, if you think the video length is too long, leave that in the comments too. Uh, I tried to make it about 10 minutes, but this dungeon was kind of long. And I wanted to show as much of it as I could, because it's not going to be here forever, it's going to go away once Willow's Drenia starts. So this is the second boss. Uh, he's pretty easy. Um, you just have to dispel when Daily Boss Mods tells you to dispel. And stay out the green slime things that are on the floor. You'll see them. When they come up. You see those uh, orange lines? Stay out them too, because like lava things. And that's about this whole fight is dispel, stay out the lava lines, and the green circles when they appear. So I did have a comment on my other video of where we killed the Headless Horseman that I was zoomed in too much. And uh, I'll try to zoom out more next time I film. So if you find that a problem, the uh, no, I'll be fixing that. Uh, these green things I am actually sending in at the moment, you want to get out those because they hook for about 7,000 damage a second. So be sure to kill them quick because these green things don't disappear until it's dead once they start going down. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but uh, I'm in a different group too. And I don't think I captured me getting any gear in these videos. So here's the uh, third guy. I'm going to try not to talk so much so you can hear what's going on. Apologize for this failure, Warlord Zayla. The Iron March will take care of these intruders. Iron March, kill them, or I will kill you. Kill the one in the dress. So all you have to do for this guy uh, is kill these waves of enemies, which is pretty easy. Then he just flies down on a dragon, and you fight him. I guess if you want to run this dungeon a few times, I don't know, a dozen or two dozen times, to get gear, it's probably a pretty good way of getting gear. And uh, I'm going to be putting up a series of me doing the Siege of Okamar, if anyone's interested probably going to be about an eight part series I guess this is so look out for that if you guys are interested So as you can tell the uh, main guy is coming out now, you gotta kill his dragon and then he'll drop down and you fight him. Now, let us finish this. 
And actually, I only died once in this video from this guy. But if you go and watch the chicken video, where I show you all the material that I shot for this dungeon, I probably died at least six or seven times. Yeah, so as you can see, two guys die right off the bat. Because, uh, that dragon spits fire and you can't stand in the fire he spits out. So, we may have to stand the fire. And this guy actually has something that, if you have, if you're a caster and have to stand still to cast, it's actually kind of hard. Because they spin around. And as a healer, I have to keep people alive. See those hammers? They're called imbued, uh, iron axes. And they will mess you up. And if you have to stand still to heal people, like I do, it's kind of hard. But we get this guy. We've never wiped on this guy. The only time I've wiped was on the first boss my first time through. So, uh... If you stay out the hammers, that is the only hard part of this fight. And uh, please like and subscribe to my videos and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'll be sure to post more videos soon.